Hello and welcome to today's Tuesday tutorial. I'm Zane Condren, Senior Video Specialist here at NewTek, and today I'm going to show you how to use the dual streaming encoders in your NewTek IP series and TriCaster TC1 to stream live to Periscope. To get started, let's open the new streaming and encoding panel in the software. This is a little different than previous versions. You'll see that there's now two channels of configuration to do for each encoder. And I've previously added some presets here for Facebook and YouTube Live. But to get one started for Periscope, we actually need to open a web browser. And we're going to go log into our Periscope account, which if you're a Twitter user, you can automatically get an account on Periscope just using your Twitter login credentials. And then we're going to log in to Periscope here. This is where you will authenticate your um, authenticate to Periscope using your Twitter credentials. Once we log in to Periscope, we're going to go find the producer option here in Periscope. This will bring you to this page, allowing you to set up a new source for your Periscope stream. And we're going to set it up as a normal source. And then we're going to take the server URL and the stream name slash stream key and create a new profile within the streaming encoding panel. Once back in the streaming encoding panel, we're going to go down here and create a custom profile. And we're going to paste in our server address. We're going to give it a name. We're going to open our web browser back up and get the stream name here. Go back in and paste our stream ID. Now, now we can start streaming. And we'll go back to Periscope. And it'll take it several seconds for it to detect the source. And once it does, you'll see here that Periscope is throwing an error on some of the default streaming settings. So we're going to go back into our profile and dial back the audio to meet this specification. The Periscope producer page told us that our audio bit rate was too high. So I'm going to go in here and adjust it down to 96k just to be safe. And I also know that the um, max resolution that Periscope currently supports is 960 by 540. In the new streaming encoder settings, you'll see that you now get a quality gauge that tells you how good your stream is going to look. You'll also have some codec choices as well as bitrate options. And I'm going to dial back this bitrate to just under 2 megabits a second. I'm going to stop my stream, give it several seconds. and then restart my stream. The stream will take several seconds to show back up on the Periscope producer page. And then once, you're, once you've previewed your stream and you're happy with it, you can hit go live. You can share this broadcast on Twitter. Okay, now that we're back at the Periscope producer page, we can actually see that Periscope is re receiving our stream. And we are getting a couple warnings, but they're sort of uh, suggestions, not hard and fast rules. So now we're going to go view this broadcast on Periscope. 
here you're able to QC your video as well as get involved with the social aspect of Periscope and see all of your uh, likes and follows. So now that we're back on our system, you can see that we still have the second channel of encoding available. And these settings can be completely different than the channel you're using for Periscope. So if you want to use this to deliver things like square video to Facebook Live, you can do that as well by adjusting these uh, sliders. You can also choose between baseline, main, and high for your H.264 codec, as well as set your frame rate. Uh, we also do provide presets here up top for low, medium, and high streaming, high quality streaming. And you're able to um, add any of the additional presets to use that second channel of encoding. Source setup allows you to choose what source is feeding your two stream encode. So these can be any of your four mix outputs and each one can be completely separate. Now you can actually set your mix outputs to be different sources from within the switcher itself. So if you wanted to use a mix effects bus to switch a different show for your social platforms, you could do that by assigning a mix bus to one of your four mix outputs. Now that's how you get your new Tech Live production system streaming live on Periscope. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again next week. If you have any topics that you would like to see covered, comment below.